So we're going to have a quick look at a project that I've configured to allow us to access the LCD on the Disco board. I'm going to open the IOC file. So this is a, an IOC file that I've previously created by uh, enabling a, uh, the default peripherals. So when you create a new project, as in the last video, uh, you create the new project, select um, default peripherals. So I'm just going to make sure in system core that the watchdogs are disabled. So in connectivity, the quad SPI is enabled, bank one with quad SPI lines. The SD card uh, interface is disabled. And in multimedia, if we select the LTDC peripheral, make sure that we've got um, the RG888 24-bit set. And also the active width of the LCD is set to 800 pixels. And the active height is set to 480 pixels. So next, if you go to the DSI peripheral, you'll see that the... Um, settings that we made in the LTDC in terms of the 800 by 480 they should uh, have been brought into the horizontal timings and vertical timings of this peripheral so you can access these by selecting LTDC interface and just see that they uh, they correspond the next thing we want to do is uh, select the um, digital filter just make sure that that's enabled because if you if we have SAI interfaces enabled, uh, there will be a compilation build error if that isn't set. In middleware and software, make sure that FreeTOS is FreeRTOS is disabled. Now we don't have to save anything because we've not changed anything. We're just navigating through. So the important thing now is to, in the main.c file, uh, we make sure that we've included uh, the test image that's in the H file. You can create a test image uh, by using things like bin to C. So um, you can create that from a bitmap. And place that header file into the ink folder within core. We also within the header file need to include the BSP support files as we've done here in the user code include section. See here uh, in drivers I've copied in the BSP files and you need to, um, they're, not, they're not created by default, so you need to copy those in from uh, your repository. Um, and we need to copy BSP into the uh, drivers folder, and we need to copy utilities, which contains all the fonts, into the root of the uh, project folder. And once we've done that, we can begin to enter our LCD code. And you'll see here that I've entered code within the constraints of the user code begin to comment. So firstly we've got the external no flash being enabled, then the LCD initialized before we then draw the bitmap onto the LCD. And at this point, everything should just compile with no errors and you can flash your project.